Well, greetings. We're going to do a quick overview of the CW station for the Cleveland County Amateur Radio Club for Field Day 2019 coming up here this weekend. And we'll show you the rig, the computer software, and a little bit on how to use it in case you're not familiar with it. First of all, on your um, left, you'll see the rig. It's an IC7300 with a scope on it, which makes it easy to find stations. Uh, we've got a keyboard. We've got the computer with the N1MM software running on it. And over here is the uh, paddle that is connected to the rig and uh, the mouse and a little cheat sheet here with all the ARRL sections on it. And some of these are a little tricky because some of the states are divided up. For instance, West Central Florida, WCF. So there's no FL. So uh, that's here in case you need it. And uh, an ink pen in case you get desperate and just want to write the calls down. We can enter them manually later. Hopefully we don't have to do that, but uh, it's there just in case. So let's take a look at the rig first of all. And the little IC7300 is pretty easy to use. Um, down here on the bottom left is your uh, AF gain control, your RF you shouldn't have to mess, meth with, mess with. Uh, the uh, frequency readout here, this is how you change bands. Uh, you tap the uh, frequency and up comes the band buttons. And then you hit this to return, exit out of it. If you ever get stuck in something, down here is an exit button. It'll get you out of just about anything. The multi button, uh, you can set up your keyer for the speed that you want. Now this will only affect the paddle. It won't affect the software. And um, then this filter, as you can see, it changes the filter bandwidth. And um, your RIT, right here, this turns on RIT, and then this multi knob becomes your, your RIT knob, should you need to use that. And then you can clear it with the clear button over here. So uh, modes are selected, there's CW. Tap on the, uh, the mode that you're in, and up comes your modes to select from. So it's real simple and easy to, to operate. The um, software is N1MM, and down at the bottom, that panel is your entry window where you enter the call sign and the uh, class of operator and the uh, uh, section that the other station is in. And then up at the top, up here, is a running log, and as you make QSOs, that will fill out automatically. There's two modes when running CW or whatever, um, two modes of contesting, uh, run, and you can see down here where it says RUN, and uh, let me sort of zoom in a little bit there. There's run, and there's search and pounce. And as you can see, that changes some of the macros down here at the bottom. So uh, what run means is that you're the guy that calls CQ and you wait for somebody to answer you. And um, sometimes you can kind of get on a run and just go crazy with it and people just pile up just wanting to work you. Maybe you're super strong and everybody else is QRP or whatever the case is. Maybe you got there first uh, or maybe you're running a kilowatt and uh, you're the, the big dog on the band. Uh, that's one mode, and then the other mode is uh, search and pounce, S&P, where you tune around looking for another guy that's using run, and you find him calling CQ, and then you call him. So um, let's go through a quick uh, scenario here. Um, this is where the call signs are entered, right there in your entry window. Over here you can see the uh, the bands, and we can actually make the radio change bands by just clicking on one of these here. We've got a USB port going between a uh, cable between the rig and the computer, and uh, the commands are sent from the computer to the rig, and it knows what to send, and it even sends CW for you, so you don't have to use the paddle. 
unless you want to. So um, the speed of the CW right here is adjustable from whatever to whatever. I've got it set for 20 and you can use any speed you want. If you call CQ and have your speed set at 30 words a minute, then you can pretty well expect somebody to come back at you with that speed. And maybe you don't want to do that. So uh, anyway, 20 words a minute is a nice, uh, easy speed. And um, let's, let's, do a, let's do a run first. I'm just going to park on this frequency and I'm going to call CQ and hope somebody answers me. Now, I've got another rig sitting over here and I'm going to pretend that I am the other station and uh, you'll see how it works. So I'm going to call CQ by hitting F1. I can use my keyboard, uh, hit the, the F1 macro key and I've got a, a wireless keyboard sitting over here. As you can see, and there it is, F1 macro key right there. And I can just tap that, or I can click F1 with the mouse. And uh, so there you go. Now listen again. So I just sent um, CQ Field Day from uh, NA4CC, and I'm listening for somebody else, and hopefully somebody will answer. And um, let's do it one more time, and I'll... So here I am on the, the other rig sending, and I'm, I'm going to call uh, NA4CC and, uh, and see if we can do an exchange. So you don't really call somebody with their call sign in a contest. You just send their call sign. So I'll send, I'll send my call sign, um, and I'm going to pretend to be uh, W1AW. All right, so W1AW just called me. Now what I do is I enter his call sign, W1AW, as he's sending it, preferably, and, um, and I'll send my exchange to him. So I sent W1AW, 3ANC, 3A North Carolina. And um, so now he's going to come back to me and send an exchange. So he sent um, TU, thank you, uh, 13A, and I'm going to enter that as it comes out of my speaker, 13A, Connecticut, CT, and um, and then I'll say, uh, thank you. Okay, so he's gone. Uh, he got his information, and I just acknowledged uh, what he sent. And uh, so really, we're done with this exchange. And I'll enter, uh, hit the enter button, and that puts the uh, QSO up, up here at the top. As you can see, the W1AW frequency, which is read off the rig, 13A Connecticut. That's all there was to it. So really, all I had to be able to do was copy his call sign and the uh, exchange <clears throat> and the, uh, the, the uh, section. So that was pretty easy. Now let's do a quick uh, search and bounce. And uh, let's call, I'll, I'll use another call sign to, excuse me, call CQ uh, field day. All right, I, 
called CQDEW4BEW. And um, by the way, you can see on the scope there where I was. I'll do it again. Okay, so um, I heard W4BEW, so while he's calling CQ, I will already have this uh, call sign entered in here. All right, then I'm going to send my exchange. That's all I got to do. I heard him. I get on his frequency, and uh, I'll send uh, I'll send uh, NA4CC. And then hopefully he'll hear that and come back to me with the exchange that he has. So he'll send uh, my call sign. And then he'll send his uh, class, which would be, uh, let's say, 1A. One, one and uh, let's say he's in Kentucky. A Kentucky. So as he's doing that, I would have typed in one alpha K Y. And all I've got to do is uh, send my exchange. So there you go. 3A North Carolina. TU 3A North Carolina. And I'm done. I don't have to say 73s and do any fancy signing off for Ks or BKs or anything like that. Just keep it short. Let the software do it, do its work. And now he's going to go back to this. He's going to start calling CQ Field Day again. And I've got to search and pounce on somebody else. Um, then we, when we're done with that exchange, we just hit the enter button and Zappo, it's up there in the log. Um, one thing I forgot, we, when you start operating, uh, put your call sign into the system so that it will know who the operator is. And you do that by entering uh, this, OPN, and that'll change the operator, OPON. So, you enter that stuff right here in the window, O-P-O-N, and you hit your enter button, then up comes a little window, and you type in your call sign and hit OK, and then that will make you the operator for however long you want to operate. So that's uh, pretty much it. Now, of course, on your macros again, there are some things here. Um, let's see, he comes back with... Uh, he didn't copy your uh, section. He didn't copy it well. So you can uh, you can repeat the exchange again right here until he finally copies it. Um, you can uh, you can also send your call sign as many times as you want just by clicking F4 and uh, here's Again, again, question mark. That would make, you know, repeat everything, dude. That's what it's telling the guy. Uh, here's F9 for number, question mark. Of course, you're not going to be using that because you don't need a number. But uh, anyhow, I think that uh, pretty well covers it. And uh, so that's about it. Thanks for watching.